Okay, so I'm back. I'm back. This is Venus conjunct the moon. Synastry. Oh, my God. And yes, guys, it just, it really does depend on what sign this is that it falls in for each placement. But this is a really, really good rapport to have with someone else. In Synastry, mm, Venus conjuncting the moon. Now, I listen, I have to do these caveats every now and then because I want people to understand that no. Like, and I get it, but no, just because you have some sort of um, synastry aspect with another person, it does not mean that you and a person are going to be together or be together forever or none of that. It could just be an issue or a situation that gets activated for a, a, a particular purpose. Okay. It doesn't have to be a long-term purpose. Okay. But with Venus in the moon, with Venus in the moon, where you have, what you have is you have this this attraction like someone's personal feelings that usually they keep to themselves because of different reasons one of the reasons could very well be because they could feel like you know they don't want to expose themselves to the world to the people on the outside that may not understand their feelings they don't really know these people um they want they don't want to be vulnerable in situations where they need to have their ego out front and their personality showing as protection venus here venus conjunct the moon show venus conjunct the moon venus allows moon the moon and wants the moon to be its self its authentic self it feels comfortable with the moon when the moon is vulnerable it's a very attractive thing it's a very attractive aspect venus feels like the moon or looks at it like the moon person um, or is attracted, is attracted to or finds the moon's vulnerabilities and sensitivities attractive because Venus likes to be treated with care and Venus likes to have personal relationships and interactions and Venus likes to be pampered. The moon knows how to pamper Venus. The moon knows the right things to say to Venus. It just does. The moon, the Venus could think like, oh my gosh, this is, this is really a good find for me. Cause like this person makes me feel so good, makes me feel needed, makes me feel valued. And you know, it could be a little bit mistrusting of the moon person. If they could feel, if, if they look at it like, mm, and vice versa, the moon could be mistrusting of Venus too. But if they feel like, well, this person is doing this to try to get get me or I don't know if I should believe this person. But what Venus misunderstands or does not get is that the moon person is just acting naturally, naturally. And it's not necessarily some ploy or some trick. Now, if you if you take moon and you look at the moon, the moon, the moon feels uplifted and celebrated and connected to venus and who would like who would not want to be around somebody that makes us naturally feel comfortable in the skin that we're in and finds it attractive listen listen the moon turns venus on by its vulnerabilities, by its sensitivities, by the way it cares for Venus. And Venus really does become a little, I am bothered. I'm, the Venus then wants to join and commemorate. Guys, is commemorate a word? Const, com, they want to put a stamp on and bottle up the moon and possess the moon. Now, I will say this. The moon feels secure about its possession, the Venus's possession. It feels good. But if you, see, this is the thing. Because the moon cannot stay in that vulnerable, sensitive position all the time. Because it has to 
be out and about. It has to be in the world. The Where I'm getting to this is Venus. When Venus sees... Oh my gosh, guys. This keeps telling me about this tornado warning. My alarm. When Venus sees the moon out around other people, out in the world, the moon, the Venus person, unless, unless, unless the sun is conjunct the moon. But the Venus person sees, feels like the moon person is acting different, being different. Because it could be, because the moon could want to keep its personal relationship with Venus personal and private. Even though it is very hard for these two to do, I'm telling you what the moon probably wants to do. Okay? And when Venus sees the moon not, you know, being different, because the moon has to protect itself and put on its ego for purpose, different purposes, the Venus person feels like the moon person is being wishy-washy. The Venus person feels like the moon person is switching up, being different, and then the Venus person could you know could say okay well fine i want you the moon person to be with me alone to ourselves okay y'all now that could be a good or bad thing i'm not saying it's good i'm not saying it's bad i'm just telling you i'm just telling you now the moon individual has its share of possessiveness that the venus person likes but depending on the sign that the Venus is in, it could want a little bit more freedom. You, let's take this to be, let's take this to be something like Venus in Aquarius or something like that. The good part, now this will, this will not most of the time happen because, and it depends on the sign. The good part of Venus in Aquarius is that the moon is in Aquarius. And with the moon being in Aquarius, it's going to want its own level of freedom. It really is. But, but... Okay. It being comfortable, the moon being comfortable could want Venus somewhere in its vicinity, even though emotionally distant. Okay. The Venus person could start to feel like, okay, well, you know, you're you're being very sensitive. Just by me, you know, making my own decisions, especially dealing with money what i'm buying what i'm wearing who i'm involved with you're being a little bit you know controlling and you're being a little bit sensitive i need for you yes i like your vulnerabilities and you can communicate to me what it is that you need and you want that's a very good thing that these two can have together however you're being a little bit too possessive because i gotta go out Venus has to go out and make money, y'all. Venus has to have relationships. Now, the good thing is if these two can have this relationship together, because that's where they thrive at, and that's what they have. But there comes this point in time where Venus has to go have these relationships with other people. And I'm not talking about intimate relationships, necessarily. You let, let's think about it. You have a mother, father, sister, brother, co-workers, etc., but these two want to spend time together in their own way that makes sense for them. And they share things, okay? They they could they could be very thoughtful thoughtful of each other. And emotional and sensitive over each other and protective over each other. And even though like God, we let this be something like in a tenth house or something like that, the first house. Doesn't matter. Fifth. You it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It could be the 12. People sense the closeness between the two. It's these two are close. These in the these two are close. They're very close. And one can offend the other. Like if they feel like they're pushing each other away. Or they're saying something to hurt the other person's feelings. It could really, even if the other one is just playing or it's not that serious, they could take it to heart. But these two are close. They want to support each other. They want to support each other. And they, you know, they have fun together. They, you know, are very open and vulnerable with each other. This is a very good synastry to have. And I love it. I love, I love the moon and Venus. 
I really do. And it and it and it's not so much so just sexual, but when it is, ooh, ooh, oh my God. These two can take that experience to like a whole other level. They can have fun while they join the zoo. Listen to me. Because y'all know when I say listen to me, I'm not trying to play no game. Listen to me. They can have fun while they doing the do. Like, I'm talking about guys. Guys, love make game. Because it can be, like, mm, trying to encompass. In, that or encompass each other. And then it's like the emotions are flowing. And it's like, ooh. Wait, okay. Look, let me tell you something. This is Venus Kajum. Moon Sinistry. I'm gonna fly to light. I'll be back. Peace.